This tutorial is going to demonstrate creating advanced patios and objects on the Reese Stone Advanced Paver Calculator. This tool is for preliminary feasibility and estimation purposes only. We recommend watching the previous tutorials if you haven't already. Let's begin! With the Curve tool selected, start from the bottom and click to create a node. Then create another node in the middle and a final node that reconnects to the patio. Now click the Straight tool and follow the path to keep it hidden. Let's add our Mesa flagstone in Sierra Gray with a Holland border in charcoal. Now click on the patio we drew and select Send to Bottom. To create this half circle at the bottom, we will select the Circle tool and click and drag. To reposition it, click on the middle of it and drag it into place. For this, we are going to select Mesa Flagstone in Old Town with a Holland border and charcoal. Zoom in to get a better view of the patio you are working on. You can also add more than one border by simply selecting Add Border again. We will select Holland border in Sierra Gray. To delete additional borders, simply select the red Remove button from the border menu. For creating this half circle, we are going to select the node on the left side and then click Delete Node from the green menu. We know that the client would like a fireplace for this project, so we are going to choose the square object and then click and drag. After it is placed, we can select the color we want for it. To reposition it, simply click and drag it into place. Any time that you place an object on top of your patio, it will be subtracted from the materials required in the quick estimate or report. Starting on the left with the curve tool selected, let's click to create our first node and then place each node as needed. You will notice that this is curving the opposite direction. We will adjust that after we finish drawing. Let's add our Mesa flagstone in Sierra Gray with a Holland border in charcoal. We will now adjust the nodes to match the same curve as our paths. You can see that the bottom is still adjusting. We can fix this by clicking on the curve and moving it inwards. If you have too many nodes and one is not needed, you can simply select it and delete it. For this situation, it is best to turn off Snap to Grid as it allows more flexibility and precision. We will select Holland Border in Sierra Gray. We now want to connect this patio to the paths we created. For this, draw a square and choose Mesa Flagstone with a Holland border in charcoal. Then send it to the bottom. For the top path to be at an angle, choose the straight tool and draw the path at an angle to connect it. Once again, select Mesa Flagstone with a Holland border and send it to the bottom. For the pool, we are going to select the Curve Object tool and follow the same angle as the previous nodes. Now select the Paint Bucket tool and choose a blue color. We will add two borders again to the pool, a Holland border in charcoal and a Holland border in Sierra Gray. We see that the pool is overlapping a bit too much so we will make the adjustments until we are happy with it. This design is meant for demonstration purposes and may not work in a real life scenario. We are now going to go through everything and give it a label as it will be easier to understand our final report. Label the pool. Label the pool patio. Label the path patio. Label the fireplace. Label the fireplace patio. Click Create Estimate. It will now show all the areas we labeled with their products and quantities. Once again, all the objects we drew on top have been subtracted from the patio totals. Now click Create Report. Remember that the report only generates what we drew and will not display the image we uploaded. You can now click Print report, or go back and click Print to PDF. 